a black HTC One leak with a ZOE camera. Samsung Galaxy Altia seems to be their next smartwatch, and the Ubuntu preview for the Galaxy Nexus and Nexus 4 is coming next week. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if I look hungover to you, it's most probably because your screen is blurry. This is Pocket Now Daily. We're just four days away from HTC's M7 or HTC One event happening on February 19th and we're already quite excited. We've got new leaked images of that HTC One coming out in black and yes, we've got the two grills but still, the design is quite beautiful even if it looks like an iPhone. Who cares, they won their patent deal. But aside from that, the interesting news is there is a ZOE camera, which we don't know if we should call ZOE, being mentioned and apparently this is the new ultra pixel camera, which is being mentioned as a four megapixel camera, which should be four ultra pixels, right? Uh, we'll keep you posted. And for those of you waiting for the Ubuntu preview to come to the Galaxy Nexus, well, it's being scheduled to be launched as of next week, but what makes it even more interesting is that there will be a port for the Nexus 4 as well being launched at the same time, so make sure you pull out your Nexus devices from the drawers because they are about to get even more interesting. Now we all know that there are three Nokia Lumia devices being rumored and apparently there is this new Dutch ad from a carrier showing off what device that looks a lot like the Lumia A22 that we already reviewed. The device looks really good but it's obviously a mid-tier device. Hopefully their event at MWC 2013 will shed some light on this device coming to Europe soon. So what happens after you evolve phone calls into video calls? Well, you should evolve voice messages into video messages. Skype has just launched a new service update for iOS and Android that allows you to record a video message to anybody for as much as three minutes. And even though the idea is quite genius, the fact that phone calls going over to video calls hasn't really taken off kind of makes us skeptical. Try it out. Tell us about it. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, new rumors have a new Galaxy Altia as Samsung's new smartwatch. And apparently this smartwatch will be part of Project J, so it hopefully will be launched at the same time as the Galaxy S4. But interesting enough, this device is not running Android, it's running a new Altia OS that looks a lot like Windows Phone 8. And that leads me to the question of the day. How important are smartwatches to you? In my particular case, I've stayed away from covering all the iWatch rumors from Apple because, first of all, if it's not water resistant, if it doesn't have push to talk to do the whole Dick Tracy thing, then I'm really not interested, but leave us a comment down below. And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you next week. There's a lot of HTC One coverage on Tuesday.